We have been working with the GTA for many years and the partnership between the University of Southampton and the GTA has proved really successful in providing high quality education to the population of Guernsey, in particular in the form of the MBA for the senior executives and aspiring managers on the island. The partnership between these two organisations is good because the GTA has a very good reputation on the island and it has excellent facilities that both the students and we can utilise in order to have a good educational experience. Whenever organisations fund educational interventions for any of their staff, they of course have to think about the benefits that they might leverage out of supporting individuals through programmes of study. We always say, if you're supporting one of your colleagues to go on to an MBA, what you will gain in return are two things. One of them is an individual that is well versed within all aspects of an organisation and therefore is able to, come to grasp the complexities of organisations in the 21st century. Secondly, you have an individual that has been exposed to many different and often new ideas and therefore what they can bring back to an organisation is an ability to look at challenges or opportunities from a different perspective. What that enables organisations to do is to be more responsive and able to adapt their systems and therefore hopefully survive and be more sustainable in the future. The students studying from MBA here at the GTA will get in terms of lecture materials and face-to-face -face time exactly the same programme that they would get as if they would study our part-time programme on the mainland. The difference of course is that staff are not necessarily as readily available to speak to because we are on the mainland and not on the GTA. However, the support the GTA provides is excellent and they know our programme very, very well and there's always someone here who will be able to answer questions. Secondly, we are very good in working with new technologies, maybe Skype or simple email, and respond to students as fast as we can to solve any problems. Over the many years that we have delivered the programme over here, I don't think students had a significant different experience compared to those students that study in Europe on the mainland. In addition, from the new programme that we have launched this year, the students will join the mainland programme at at least two occasions, so they will be able to mix and network with our full-time and executive students.